Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Kitty. Also, if you're new, don't forget to click the subscribe button below. Um, okay, so today's video is basically about... I got bit by either yellow fly, horse fly, deer fly. I don't even know, some type of big fly. And before I explain everything, I'm gonna just show you a clip of what that bite looks like. So here we go. So I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but this is the bite right here. Well, I got multiple bites there. But this whole section right here is swollen and red, and it's very hard to the touch. So they itch really bad, they hurt, it burns like heck in the beginning. And yeah, it's like just really hot when you go like that. It's like everything else is cold and that area is just on fire. But that is a, I want to say it's a yellow fly bite. I think that's what it is. I'm almost positive. So yeah, let's try this natural ways and see how it does. I'm going to update you guys. Um, see how I wake up in the morning, but this is very painful. I got them on both legs in multiple areas So the first step is I'm gonna clean all of my um, I almost said cuts all of my bites with witch hazel and a Cotton swab thingy. These are the reusable ones, but yeah, I'm gonna do this first on all of them and then I'm gonna do the aloe So first, I'm going to focus on this one because it's the worst one. Then I'm going to move on to all the other ones. But I'm not going to show you guys all of that. But I just want to show you the first step. It's kind of soothing. Okay, you guys. So you guys saw how nasty and big that those bites are. Um, they're very, very painful. Just as painful as it looks. So... So I found out that you can put witch hazel on it first and then you apply aloe. Obviously I don't need all of this aloe, but I'm getting ready to film another video of um, an aloe use, which it's gonna be aloe shaving cream. So it's gonna be like all natural and it's gonna be in a foaming pump. So that's gonna be really interesting and I'm excited to do that video. So that one's next, so stay tuned for that one. So anyways, I'm gonna show you how to cut this and it's very dangerous you guys these things hurt i have cut myself many times with it so let's get going so first you want to start on one end if you have like gardening gloves i probably recommend you do that which i do have them but they're outside <laughs> And these aloe, I actually gr grow here in my yard myself. So we don't use any pesticides or anything like that in our yard. Um, so it's all healthy. Okay, if you guys see little fruit flies flying around, we had the back porch door open and a couple of them got in here. And they're pretty annoying. Okay, so all I did was cut the end to make it even, just to have it. And this is probably all I'm gonna need for this, for what I'm doing right now. So I'm gonna cut the end. And then what I'm gonna do actually is, so I'm gonna cut all this right here, the just the skin. Just like that. And the reason why I have this blender right here, um, this here, is because I'm gonna put all the aloe in here and blend it up for my next video. So I'll probably just go ahead and, no, I'm gonna do it for the next video. I was gonna go ahead and do that here, but what's the point? I don't wanna bore you guys if you're not interested in that video. <laughs> So I'm just cleaning it up, making sure it's pure aloe. See, like getting rid of this, um, this part. So slippery, so be careful with the knife, you guys. 
<laughs> it won't even get off me. This is a healthy aloe. That means I watered, watered it good enough. Okay. So I like to just make a little, a few cuts just to get the juices going. It's probably not the right words, but that's how I like to say it because this is like juice to me. Okay, so now I'm gonna apply it on all the bites and I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. Okay, so here's an update. With doing just the witch hazel alone, it looks like a lot of the redness went away. I mean, it's still red right here, if you guys can tell. And it's still swollen, it feels hot still. But I feel like the witch hazel helped a lot. So I'm actually excited about this part because I feel like it's gonna finish doing its job. I mean, it's not probably gonna heal overnight. I hope it does. I will update you guys because the last time I got bit like this, it lasted like a week or two, probably even longer. It was awful. So that's it, you just do that and then just let it dry naturally. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do all the other ones, but not on camera. Okay, so here's a quick update. This is what I ended up doing. I blended all the aloe and, um, cause I had extra aloe. I did the one already for that um, shaving cream video, but I decided instead of just rubbing the aloe on me, cause I feel like you waste a lot that way cause you don't use it all. I went and um, cut all the aloe I had brought in. I blended it all. I don't know, it was like four leaves or so, three or four extra leaves. And I put in the blender, obviously had a little bit of green on it, which is okay, that's why I got that pretty color. And then I added, was it eight? I added eight or 10 drops of la lavender. You don't have to be exact, it was just like whatever. And then I added five four or five of the tea tree oil. So a little bit more of the lavender than tea tree oil. And then I went ahead, I actually woke up feeling okay after the application I did last night. And then all of a sudden the areas just started getting extremely excruciating like pain and itchiness. So I said, yeah, it's time to do this again. I did plenty of the witch hazel and then um, after that, I applied this, the one that has the lavender and tea tree oil mix. This is just pure aloe, lavender, and tea tree oil. Nothing else in here, no water, nothing, pure. So that was it, you guys. You just have to put witch hazel and then fresh aloe directly on the, each bite, and it's supposed to make it heal and go away. So I will actually update you guys in the description box. So. If you want to know how this worked out after I upload, I will actually update in the description box. Or if I've already got my results while editing this video, because I'm not going to edit it tonight, I'm going to do it tomorrow, then I will leave it in here let you guys know if it worked out or not. Um, but again, if I don't have results yet, then I will update uh, as soon as I have the results in the description box. So keep an eye out for the description box. So that is it for this video, you guys. I hope it was helpful and I hope um, this works out for you guys because I know the summer's coming up, but here in Florida, it's already pretty much summer. So we're already getting those nasty bugs. So yeah, that's all you need to do. Um, if you've tried this, let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys on the next one. Love you guys. Bye.